Hi guys, I'm Zulhazik. In this video, I'm going to tell you on all the things that you need to know in composting. Let's get started. Compost is a decomposed organic matter. It is a nature's way of recycling organic material back into the environment. Why compost? According to research, 70% of 16 million of waste per year in Malaysia were household waste. This waste that includes food scraps and other organic material have caused a lot of environmental problems. With the ongoing global crisis in the form of COVID-19, the number of waste keeps on increasing as people will often go to the kitchen since being outdoor is dangerous. This is where composting comes in handy. Even at home, you can turn your leftover food into a natural organic fertilizer for plants, which is something that looks like this. Composting consists of four main components. Organic matter which is divided into carbon and nitrogen, water, air, and microorganism. An ideal compost comprises of 30 to 1 ratio of carbon and nitrogen. Carbon source can be obtained from brown matter such as grass clippings, dry leaves, and other dead plants. Green matter Dairy products, meat or other protein resources from kitchen can be used as nitrogen source. Although, it is not recommended to use meat and dairy products as it may create a foul smell and attract rodents and flies. Water provides the moisture content while air supplies oxygen for microorganisms respectively, thus helping them to thrive in the compost. For my compost, the green matter that I used are leftover junk food, spoiled spaghetti, banana peel, mango peel, papaya, and some other food scraps. For brown matter, I use dried banana leaves, mango leaves, grass clippings, and coconut leaves. Prepare the platform or base for compost pile by grabbing the soil surrounding. Layer down alternate with soil consists of old compost, kitchen waste, and brown matter to create a compost heap. Water generously until the compost heap becomes wet thoroughly to speed up the composting process. Then, cover the compost heap with canvas or plastic. This process will allow the temperature to increase the next following day due to microbial activities in degrading the organic matter and moisture was converted into heat. Mix or turn the compost heap and repeat the process in 3 days interval for a month. You can even see vapor coming out of the heap as the aeration process takes place. Worms and insects can be seen, which shows the sign of the end stage of composting. After a month or two, the compost will be fully matured and turn into rich black colored like soil. You can store the matured compost in a bag or container, which is then ready to be used as a biofertilizer for gardening. Compost is much more eco-friendly than chemical fertilizer, as chemical fertilizer releases harmful compound that pollutes our soil, air, and water resources. If you are ever into gardening, using compost gives you sufficient nutrients that enhance your plant growth and see the results for yourselves. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.